We're joined by Idaho head coach John Newley and student athletes Alyssa Charleston and Stacy Barr. Coach, can you just start with an opening statement? Um, <clears throat> sure, if I can find my voice, man. I was doing a lot of yelling out there today, more normal. But I think, uh, you know, our, our, our club was really resilient today. Um, we got in that hole quickly. Uh, you know, Weber was, was on fire. Um, we know they're prone to do that. Um, but, you know, we took their best shot. I feel like we took their best shot in the first half and only be down six with the way we were defending and the way we were uh, not really moving the basketball the way we're used to. And I uh, didn't have the greatest shots. We're missing layups. You know, it was like everything was kind of conspiring against us in that first half. But, you know, we went in only down six. And I felt pretty good about that. In fact, I felt really good about that, that we would, uh, we would come out and play Vandal basketball in that second half. And I thought we really took off obviously to start that half and it just carried us the rest of the last 20 minutes questions <laughs> uh, coach uh, could you talk about the um, first time out you or the time out you took with about eight minutes left in the first half when you were down by 13 and nothing was going right what did you change and I'd also like to know what kind of defensive adjustments you made at halftime because you really shut down the, the penetration game well you know we talked at that time out of, of settling down you know of, uh, look you know there's a lot of time left we've been missing layups um, you know I didn't think we were we were uh, getting after loose balls like we needed to. So, you know, we just, we just talked about getting back to doing what we needed to do and moving the basketball. Uh, I think the basketball was stopping a little bit in that first half. But really, really just settle down. You know, that they're making a bunch of shots right now and they're all hyped up, but, but we just needed to calm down. And that's really why I took the time out to just try to settle us down. Um, at halftime, we, we uh, made some adjustments. Um, we, we wanted them to go, go left, to drive left. We were letting, you know, them go right. And then we was getting open because because we were letting Williamson go right and we wanted to make her go left. And, um, you know, we needed some more gap, better gap defense. And I think uh, that's what happened, obviously, in the second half. Okay. And Stacy, I noticed late in the ball game with about six minutes to go, we, we were, uh, you were working on a lead. I can't read what it is because I've got the wrong glasses on. Sorry, I'm old. Um, I noticed when the Vandals were coming down the floor and we had a lead to protect, and they, as soon as we got across there, you were signaling and you did it more than once. Is that um, flashed in from the bench, or is that your, just your game instinct to calm it down and work the clock? I mean, once we got the lead, we um, really just needed to run our offenses and get a good shot. So I guess me doing this was just telling everyone to calm down. We have the lead, and we don't have to panic. We don't have to throw the ball up as quick as we can. We can waste the 30 seconds we have and get a good shot. Any um, qualms in the first half when you guys were what, had three field goals in the first however many minutes, but you were winning, staying in the game, hanging in the game at the free throw line? Yeah, we were playing great defense, which really helped. And, uh, you know, the stats, we shot 30 free throws to their six. So we played awesome defense, and that really helped us. And we actually made our free throws this game. So that's what got us over the line, especially in the first half when we weren't getting those field goals. <laughs> John, was there a, a decision to switch Alyssa onto Weber in the second half, and do, do you think that was effective? Uh, it, it was uh, very effective. I thought uh, I thought Alyssa did a great job in the in the second half. You know, she got those two quick fouls. Um, early and that that hurt us in the first half for sure but you know I thought uh, when Stacy was Gardner after we switched somebody else off of her I thought Stacy did a good job as a stopgap for uh, when Alyssa could get back in the basketball game and so you know uh, I felt confident that Alyssa can guard Sasha Weber I can tell you that and uh, she did a great job in the second half like I knew she would do you think that threw them off a little bit? They, they didn't score for about the first eight minutes of the second half. Yeah, I, I thought we were out there with a hand in that shooting pocket like we talked about to start the game. And, and uh, you know, they got flustered. You could see that, that they were starting to fire up some really long threes. I mean, I know they do that usually anyway. But uh, it, was, it was more so, and I think it did frustrate them. You know, they had some, a couple go in and out and uh, weren't getting those same uh, looks that they had in the first half. And, and certainly it, it had a big difference, a big impact on the game. And then, then as a coach, in hindsight, now that you have the win, do you think a little adversity heading into the finals can be a good thing? Well, I hope so. But, uh, you know, we, we've had some tough games down the, stretch, uh, down the stretch, too. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, if you're referring like, to, like, to a blowout of Chicago State as opposed to a game like this, yes, absolutely. You know, uh, we really had to, you know, circle the wagons, man, and, and uh, dig deep to get this one today. And uh, it certainly will help us tomorrow. 
And then Alyssa, when Weber was going off and they were having a lot of effect on offense, as Stacy kind of started to get to the line and started to attack and kind of match her production, do you think that kind of had a calming effect on the rest of your team? Yeah, I mean, nothing else seemed to be really going right for us. We weren't um, draining threes as, as well as we were on um, Wednesday. And um, that's the best thing you can do is get to the line if nothing else is working. And she did a really good job attacking and staying aggressive and keeping us, you know, in the aggressive mood, especially, you know, I can't do much when I'm on the bench. And she was um, huge for our team right there. Thank you. Hi, Stacy. Uh, I saw that you had a number of ways to score the ball. Is there some way that you prefer? I mean, not really. Some games my three uh, shot isn't going in, so I try and get to the line and get inside and score. But uh, not really. I mean, score any way I can, I guess, whatever the defense gives me. Same to you, Alyssa. Oh, um, well, I was just going to say for her, she always says she just wants to throw the ball at the rim and hope that it goes in. <laughs> um, and she's pretty good at it any way she does it. Um, for me, I don't know. I, I just try to take what the defense gives me. And um, I'm usually more of a back to the basket player. But um, if I need to, I can step out and hopefully, you know, hit the outside shot. And I like to drive too. But um, I'd say most of the time it's back to the basket post moves. Okay. And just last one. You guys went to the, uh, won the championship last season. And now, what foundation did that lay as far as heading into the championship this year? What's being talked about in the locker room as far as what's the next step for this team? I think the only thing we're really focusing on is the fact that we have 40 minutes of basketball to play and that's going to be our mindset going in. It's one more game, it is a championship, but we're going to play the same way we've played all year and we're going to work as hard as we can for those 40 minutes. Uh, I mean, in the semifinal last year, we were the underdogs and we really had to work for that win and New Mexico made us work tonight as well. So, um, I mean, just going in with the same mindset and just, like I said, playing that 40 minutes of basketball that we have left. Yeah, I think we went in, you know, last year, I mean, after last year, you can't count anyone out of this tournament, no matter what seed. You saw the three and six and the two and seven on Wednesday night where one went into overtime. You know, this is a competitive league and... Um, we know that nothing's going to be handed to us, and we've never felt that way. And after last year, I think it laid the foundation for really hard work this season and to get where we are now. When you kind of addressed the question that I was going to ask, I was kind of going to ask you to compare kind of this, this game right here. Because last year you played Utah State, a team that blew you out twice, and you guys gave them gave them your best shot and then this time you're, you blew them out twice and they gave you your best shot. I mean, were there a lot of similarities in, in, in your mindset? Coming into this game? Um, not really because at New Mexico State we, you know, we had a little bit of a struggle with defending them and they shot really well. They were kind of getting into gaps and um, I think just our mindset was just win another game and respect your opponent um, because they deserve respect. You know, they finished they finished fifth, but they beat the four seed last night or on Wednesday. So um, just respect your opponent and come out and play as hard as you can. John, <laughs> talk a little bit, uh, please, about the play of your sophomores in this game today. They seem to really make a big difference playing solid throughout, and also the availability of Brooke Riley, if possible. Um, yeah, the sophomores, you know, they got a lot of experience last year with all the minutes they got, starting all those games, and then, you know, making the, the championship run. So, you know, they're, they've been solid all year. They're, they're uh, you know, they're, they're no longer freshmen, and, you know, they, they play like it. They play like that year really helped them in all those minutes, and they have been absolutely solid you know, all of them, and done a good job. You know, Connie hadn't scored and made a shot, but, you know, she's running our show for 40 minutes uh, under a lot of pressure and doing a, doing a great job. And, you know, Allie was just, just working, man, just working so hard, and Christina's ready to take big shots, and she's ready to take any shot <laughs> that she'll get. But, uh, you know, so, uh, you know, I like them. They, obviously, they, they've done a great job for us. Uh, Brooke was better today, and had we really needed her, she was going to, she was going to, go she was going to give it a go so i'm hoping she's a little bit better tomorrow man and uh we can go it's kind of like you know we just keep waiting you know it's day to day we get the brook updates i get the brook updates about five times a day and i try to see where she's at so uh for megan so we'll see uh well you know we've been uh practicing at the ymca 
Um, but Megan brought all this equipment with her, man. She brought all this stem, big. You know, she looked like she was leaving for a month's vacation somewhere. So she brought all her stuff and uh, using the hotel hot tubs and stuff like that. And so she's Megan's doing a, a great job trying to get her ready. That's cool. all. That's all the time we have. Uh, thank you, guys. Way to go, Hope. <laughs>